I hope you're all well. Today we are doing my December wrap up. It is reasonably late but honestly I just kind of couldn't be bothered. <laughs> So I'm here to do it now. Um, in December I did manage to read 19 books so I managed to nail quite a few books which was pretty good and it did mean that I ended up hitting 200 books for the year which was awesome. I read 4,719 pages. I think the reason for that is that a lot of these were short stories but also um, a lot of them were graphic novels as well which is fine um, but I had a really good reading month I think generally it was a great reading month. I had six five star reads, 12 four star reads, one three star read and two DNFs um, which is you know okay. The DNFs were Neon Gods by Katie Roberts. I just didn't enjoy this whatsoever. It's essentially 400 pages of pure smut which I don't mind usually Katie Roberts's books because they're usually around 200 to 250 pages of pure smut which is fine but 400 pages of pure smut needs to have a plot as well and there wasn't a plot in this. I believe there is towards the end. I just couldn't be bothered. I didn't care. So which is a shame because I love this cover. It's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I love it but I'm sad about it. I also DNF'd Guild as well by Raven Kennedy, which ironically enough, both of these are Greek myth retellings, um, which I think probably says a lot. It doesn't help. I've come to the conclusion that I don't know the original stories of King Midas or Hades and Persephone at all. Like I know zero about them. It's not even a joke when I say I know zero. I don't know anything. I know nothing about Greek mythology so maybe that doesn't help my situation but yeah didn't enjoy these so they're both I DNF them both um so let's go through and let you know what I rated each book and then I will tell you my most surprising my favorite my most disappointing and my worst book of the month yeah that will essentially wrap this video up <laughs> So I gave Seven Days in June by Talia Willems five stars. I really enjoyed this book. It was fantastic. Totally didn't expect that at all. So yeah, really enjoyed this one. It was great. I gave Laura Olympus four stars. Actually really enjoyed this one. I've just said about the Greek mythology. This is Hades and Persephone. But um, I liked it, I think, a bit more because it was in graphic novel format. And obviously it's shorter it's told in a shorter story i am looking forward to the second volume of this one and i can't wait to get my hands on it i gave big panda and tiny dragon five stars this was adorable i absolutely love this this is definitely one that i will be able to pick up every now and then if i'm having a bad day and i just need to pick me up this will be perfect for that I gave Gods of Jade and Shadow four stars. I really enjoyed this one and I'm looking forward to picking up more from Sylvia Marino Garcia. Um, I enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I was nervous about the Jazz Age thing, but it wasn't, it didn't come into play a lot and I just really enjoyed the story as a whole. It was great. So yeah, really enjoyed this one, four stars. I gave A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig three stars. This one was fine. It was a lot darker than I was expecting, but it was fine nonetheless. Middle grade Christmas story. It was okay. I gave Christmas at the Falling Down Guest House four stars. This was adorable. It was a little bit like a Hallmark movie and I really enjoyed myself. I had a good time. I do wish it was longer and there was more to the characters and story and stuff. But overall, really enjoyed it. Four stars. I gave In a Holidays by Christina Lauren at five stars. I really enjoyed this one. I had a great time with the characters. I loved the Groundhog Day element in here. And I just really loved how this one wrapped up as well. I had a great time with it. I gave Diddly Squat by Jeremy Clarkson five stars. I really enjoyed this one. This was a lot of fun. Um, it just expands on the uh, Clarkson's Farm program on Amazon and I had a really good time watching that as well. So um, yeah, really enjoyed this one. A big eye opener, would recommend. I gave Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey four stars. Did enjoy this one. It was fantastic. Had a really good time with it. Short one, but would recommend this one in here. It was great as well. I gave Festive Fever four stars, did enjoy this one as well. I am fairly certain if I remember correctly off the top of my head now, I've read so many books since then, I'm fairly certain that this was a smutty one as well. Can't fully remember. I gave it four stars though, so I obviously enjoyed it. I gave Let It Snow five stars, totally underestimated. This book has been on my radar for the longest 
time but I absolutely adored it it was so so good and I would recommend for around the festive season so yeah I gave this one five stars I gave the hating game four stars really enjoyed this looking forward to watching the movie I don't know when we can get it in the UK but I am looking forward to watching it but yeah re did enjoy this one and I'm glad I finally read it now and um, it's off my TBR shelf <laughs> I gave The Girl From The Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag four stars. This was adorable and I really, really enjoyed it. Love the illustrations. I'm really loving Molly's um, graphic novels so far. I'm really enjoying them. So I can't wait to read more from them in the future. But yeah, really enjoyed this one. Highly recommend. I gave Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren four stars. Only just realised I've read two books by Christina Lauren in this month. And very closely, the last book of the month in November that I read was Christine Lauren book as well. Um, I gave this one four stars, really enjoyed it. Do want to carry on with the series. I had a good time with this one. Very, very smutty indeed. Really liked this one. I gave Beasts and Beauty by Samane Chainani four stars. I loved this. I thought it was really, really good. Very dark, but it's um, Twisted Tales essentially. And I just really enjoyed it. The illustrations in here were beautiful as well, which really helped. And uh, it was quite fast paced and I would recommend. It's the sort of thing that I might go back and read again and again and again. But yeah, I really did enjoy this one and I would recommend. I gave Final Girls by Riley Sager four stars. This one was great. I really enjoyed this one as always the middle the most for the most part the book's probably a 3.5 star or something but the end just really bumps it up to that four star and i just really enjoy riley sager's book so i'm excited to read more from them in the future but yeah really did enjoy this one i gave the sad ghost club 2 by lizzie meddins five stars i loved this it was so good and i'm so glad it came on such a perfect day i was having such a bad day and this got delivered early and i was buzzing so it really perked me up and i had such a good time with this one i did do a reading vlog for this and the subsequent two books i'm about to show you so i will leave a link to it up here if you want to check it out but i loved this one it was fantastic five stars I gave The Midwinter Witch by Molly Knox Ostertag, which is the last book in the Witch Boy series, uh, four stars. This one was great. Really enjoyed it. Loved being back with these characters. I wouldn't mind if Molly went back and did some more in this series because it's such a good series and I really love it. So yeah, four stars for this one. And then finally, I gave Beast Boy Loves Raven by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo four stars i enjoyed this one i am looking forward to seeing where robin goes the next book in this series um but yeah i did enjoy this one and i do enjoy this series it's great and i would recommend if you're a fan of like superheroes and villains and marvel and dc and all that good stuff i'd recommend this series starting off with raven so yeah go check it out so my most surprising book i did mention it while i was going through the ratings just then but my most surprising book was seven days in june by tatia williams i really enjoyed this one I wasn't expecting to I don't know why I'm fairly certain I said in the reading vlog that I was reading this in that this to me appears like it's literary fiction um it's not it's incredibly smutty it's fantastic I really really loved it and it was great the angst in here between the two main characters was fantastic I love the storyline and the plot and everything and I would highly recommend and I really 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 enjoyed it definitely not my socks off i wasn't expecting that at all my favorite book of the month was the sad ghost club 2 by lizzie meddins i absolutely adored this one it was so so good very very good indeed but also a shout out to big panda and tiny dragon by james norbury as well this was so so good and in a holiday it's by christina lauren because i really did love that one as well and then i don't necessarily have a worst book of the month but my most disappointing books of the month were definitely neon gods and guild because i really 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 wanted to enjoy these and i thought i was gonna because they're smutty but i just didn't i'm definitely really really sad about neon gods i am absolutely gutted i might keep hold of it and try and go back to it again i don't know but i don't know it is it is what it is i don't know i'm sad about it i'm not gonna lie um but yeah those are all the books that i read in december and my december stats i did have a really good reading month and i did manage to nail 200 books for the year which is awesome um so yeah it went all right <laughs> I reckon um but i hope you have enjoyed this video and i shall see you in the next one bye for now